right, Noah, this win was needed. You see the emotions. It's clear from yourself, from all the fans, from everybody. Uh, it keeps you firmly in the playoff discussion. Just talk about what this win means to the organization. It just, you know, everything it's been through, you know, this season and, and how we came together, coming together right now and the tough stretch of games. Like the Birmingham team is a very good team. Very, very good team. Um, playing here, Colorado, you know, we wanted to get more out of the game over there, but going to Colorado is tough as well. It's not an easy opponent, but I think it's three out of the last four. We've gotten some wins. And it's, it's like crunch time, you know what I mean? Players know it, trainings are intense, everything's intense and heightened. And for us to come out and, and give an effort like tonight was rewarding, it's nice. A couple late saves from Paul Blanchett. Um, to, there's such an emotional reaction from the crowd um, mm -hmm. when he makes a play like that. Can you say like what um, what it means when he comes up with some of these late stops? Well, it means you know we're not playing good defense, or it means like he's he's doing something you know something special. So he you know that's what we asked for our goalkeeper. We, you know the thing is he made a great save in the first half too. He was, he was outstanding tonight. He was outstanding. We saw again um, the team kept going to, to the end. Um, it seemed that as well on the final whistle, three or four players were on the ground exhausted. Yeah. This team doesn't give up, they just kept going. Yeah. How impressed are you with that aspect? Yeah, I think, I think they came out in the second half pretty well. Um, Birmingham, they second half they were good to start. And But we were holding, I thought we had good shape and we were organized. And at the part of the game we've gotten better at, that mid-block defending type area uh, that we're improving on. And now, uh, you know, waiting for our chances to come, and then we, we made a couple of subs. I think the subs helped the game and raised the game. Uh, and then, you know, kind of just seeing it out. Or just, you know, intelligent game, seeing the game out. So, I mean, all the way to last minute. Perfect segue there. You know, Memo with a perfect pass to Azokar uh, for the game winner. Talk about Memo how you and how you wanted the system to function when he entered the game. Yeah, I know what Memo's going to give us. Um, you know, he's stable in the back. He's good. I'm asking him to play on the left side when he's right-footed. So that's, that's tough, but he's, he's good at hitting balls with the outside of his right that takes care of the left. I think that's maybe how the ball was on the goal. Um, he'll give you good service in the box, high percentage of passing. He doesn't lose the ball much super high in passing if we go through the stats over and over. Um, and, and he'll go forward if he can. You know, so very appreciative of him. He's played a, a role for a lot of this season, and for him to come in here and, and deliver that ball tonight is credit to him. Of just the type of player and person he is. Um, other than the other than the goal conceded in the first half, there wasn't a lot of action from Agudelo or Enzo Martinez in like uh, in the Birmingham attack. What do you credit to like making sure that they were not actively involved? In that? Yeah, we, we we knew they were going to be special, good players. We worked on it in the week of you know the movement inside Agudelo receiving it. You know, turning, you know, the penetrating runs in behind. Our rest defense, we worked on a lot. So that's something we just continue to work on. But, you know, we had a good idea of what they're, you know, at this point, there's not many surprises to go, you know. <laughs> Came up against a good team today. Yeah. More than held their own, obviously, to, to the result. Do you think this team has underachieved this season? I think we could have gotten some results, different results throughout the season if we look at it, little uh, goals late on and stuff like that. Um, you know, the past doesn't matter too much. It's like how we go moving forward, you know. But yes, I think we could have got some results early on where we gave up last minute goals and things like that where it could be a completely different story these last couple of days, you know. But, you know, we, we, have, we know what our job is and what we have to do, and I think the boys are really focused. Um, this is the first positive win percentage at any point of the season, and it's all started to click when you came in. Oh, talk about just how the team has been performing for the last number of games, and why it's important to be playing at your best level at this time of season. Yeah, I, I, I think we've gotten better defensively a bit. Okay. Just, just overall, our kind of our working on transition defense and things like that. Uh, the players are, you know, really focused at the moment. Um, you know, we, we didn't get a shutout tonight, but we got a couple shutouts in the, in the prior games. Uh, you know, we know we have a very strong, fluid offense. You know, if it's zero goals, we're most likely we're going to score a goal. You know, so that's key for us. But I think it's now, you know, we're just tweaking a couple things, just trying to find two things of stuff we did we did well that we can do better. You know, that's that's it. That's it. That's it. You, you mentioned the attack. Um, what difference does it make having a 